What's up folks, my name is Felix and I'm back with an update video today about the BNB miner. I uploaded my last video about this project on the 22nd of January, today is the 26th and as you can see the contract balance was roughly at 1500. Now we passed the 1500 mark and we are sitting at 1534 BNB in the contract balance so the miner is still growing. And now we can also see if we jump on Moon Arc and take a look at the longest running miner, the only project who has proven itself to be sustainable over the long run. And as you can see, we got 1% in the green in the last 24 hours and almost 7% right here in the last seven days. And that's still phenomenal. So we are still growing. And if we take a look on the current chart, if you make this a little bit bigger right here, we can see that we are still growing and preparing for the third cycle. Now in this video, I don't wanna talk about the statistics of this BNB miner. I wanna show you on the blockchain what I'm exactly doing, what's my strategy in this BNB miner to be profitable and get out as much as possible, but don't hurt the project and reinvest in the same way. So let's take a look on the blockchain right here. I put in my wallet address and filtered for it. As you can see, this is my wallet address right here. And if we take a look on the transactions and scroll a little bit down, you just see hedge X transactions, which are basically reinvest, so compounding right here. And my last sell transaction was 32 days ago. The one before was 38 days ago. Then if we scroll down a little bit more, you can see my next sell transactions, which were 59 days and 64 days ago. So my current strategy right here is a 28-2. That basically means 28 days of compounding and two days of withdrawing in a whole month. And that worked out very, very good for me in the past in this miner since I'm invested since April last year. The system has proven itself and that's also the system which they stress in their Telegram group, the whole community. You should do more reinvesting to don't hurt the protocol and also pay yourself at least once or twice a month. So now we want to take a look on a very, very attractive wallet, in my opinion, from a bigger YouTuber, which talked about this project a long, long time ago. And I was aware of the project because of his videos. And the name of the YouTuber which I'm talking about is very similar to my name. It's DeFi Dude. I believe most of you who watch the video right now should know this guy. We don't want to talk about Optimus or something around that. We want to talk about his wallet in the BNB miner, what he is currently doing. Because he invested a long, long time ago. And if we jump on the first page, let's see what he is currently doing in the project. And as you can see, he doesn't pay attention to what's happening, that we are preparing for the third cycle. He is just selling. If we take a look on his last sell transaction, which is four days ago, he just got out 0.16 BNB and that's not that much. So he might be already in profit and doesn't care that much about the BNB mine anymore. In my opinion, that's a mistake because we are going for the third cycle. But let's take a look when he got in the miner. At first he got in, if we jump all the way back to his first transaction, which he made 504 days ago. That was at the 8th of September in 2021. So let's take a look on the cycle right here when he got in initially. And I think that was right here. And if we take a look on the overall picture, so he got in right before the first cycle. He had very, very good timing. Then as it seems, he took profit over the first cycle and he got back in right before the second cycle. And that's why I think you should always pay attention to the wallets of the whales or the bigger YouTubers, because most of the time, those people know a little bit more than other people because usually they have better connections to the devs and all the other big YouTubers. That's why I'm always tracking these wallets to get some more information about what the big wallets, the big YouTubers are doing to include this in my overall thinking process and make better decisions at the end. So, but now we want to take a look what he did before the second cycle started. 
And as we can see, if we jump back on the first page right here, this has to be around April last year because that was the time before the second cycle started. And as we can see right here, 283 days, there were three buy X actions. And as you can see, it was at the 18th of April last year. If we jump back to the overall picture, make this a little bit bigger, and the 18th of April was right here. So he got perfect timing before the second cycle started. And that's why I think you should pay attention on what the big guys, the YouTubers and the big wallets are doing. And that's often, I'm not saying always, a good indicator to see on how a project will evolve and how the project will go forward. I hope this information was useful for you. The point I wanted to make in this video is that timing and patience is always very important, especially if we are preparing for a next cycle and you don't know when to get in. So you might want to watch the big wallets, the wallets of some YouTubers who have some more knowledge, who are in contact with the devs and maybe preparing together to get this thing running again. If you like such kind of videos, you might want to subscribe to my channel because I bring these videos at least every second day. If you like today's video, would be great if you can give me a like. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Let's get this crypto.